Guys, you're looking a little bit different tonight than you actually look in Spike Island, aren't you? Tell me about getting that Manchester look. Nadia. Yeah, Nadia. Nadia, <laughs> Nadia, Nadia Stacey. Stacey. She's, she's the one. She's, she's the, the one. one. She's a great makeup artist, and she just like, I mean, the, the transformations that she gives us all. You know, like even if there were little subtle things, like the other way. You know, yeah. your hair was my, my swept hair over the other way to the other side, and that was it. She was just brilliant with everything. Like she, she, you know, she researched researched the you know the nineties so well, and I mean, we had pictures all over the makeup truck about what they looked like in the nineties and how kids were popping pills back then, and you know, things like that. It's just it's makes it, it little sort of subtleties make it fun to work on do you know what I mean and and that's what they did for us they made it like a real joy to work there so you didn't think I'm gonna keep those curtains that you know full hairstyle look afterwards that's no that's yeah no not at all I was <laughs> I had the curtains out of the five of us and no definitely not and the, kind of, and the mushroom look as well, then. Uh, the, the mushroom was all right. What are you laughing about? Not that bad. No, to be honest, listen, I think it's going to come back in, the mushroom. I, 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 per I personally think that this 90s look, all the baggy jeans, you know, the, all the Adidas, all that, I think that's coming. I think, it, I think we're, we're due a new sort of twirl of life. <laughs> You'll be the style leaders when it comes to that. Will you guys be wearing all that clubber again? To be, to be honest, I never had anything Adidas in my wardrobe after did Spike Island. <laughs> you don't deserve to be. Don't, don't, don't ask him any questions, he's, he's pathetic. Well, what I'm saying is after I did it, I went and bought some Adidas clubber, do you know what I mean? I, I wised up ah, okay. to something that I was ignorant about in the first place. <laughs> and I apologise for that, I'm sorry if I offended you, Nico. The influence of film, you say. What, guys, what was it like filming in Manchester? Well, I, I mean, we're all we're all sort of from in, in and around Manchester, and it was just it was a real joy because you got to go home at night, picked up in Manchester, filming yeah. in places which you know you drive past every day, and it, and it's just like you're seeing people, real Manchester people, on set with you, and it and it just becomes a real like that that Mancunian vibe of the night is, which is what we intended to do with the film. The thing for me was uh, filming in Affleck because. Affleck's back then is something different than it was now. Like at the time, it was the social hub. It was, it was all about the music, and there was so much life coming out of Affleck's. And to experience what it was then, now that was a privilege for me. Because you talk about the music, you guys have to play and sing in the film, don't you? Yeah. Were you musicians and singers beforehand? Well, uh, we, no, not really. I, I mean, I'd, I'd never really picked up a guitar in my life, but we, they got us together for a good like five, six weeks, yeah. and and they had us rehearsing like three times a week. Week, like you yeah. make it making it perfect so we were an, an actual band and by the by the end of it Manny came in the room and it was like we sound like a fucking band we're all right <laughs> you know what I mean but it did what take it did take Manny's it, exact words his exact words with uh, lads we keep it down in here I'm trying to have a wank next door <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but no, we, we are, listen. We, we all learned like a, a certain instrument, like you yeah, know, li little guys yeah. on the bass, yeah. penfold yeah. with with yeah, a maracas or with yeah, a with nothing, yeah, a split in my hand, and, and, it, and it, it just works really well, like as, as a group. Just learning the instruments, he was about trying to get that band rapport, yeah, man. because yeah. that's what it's about. When you're in a band, it's a brotherhood, and that's what we we definitely learned from that because yeah. we helped each other with the instruments and. It was an experience you know, with him. Yeah. Sorry, and, and, the, and the guitar guy, you know, the, the, obviously the standing guy, he, he was a real help as well. I've got to shout him out because he was great. <laughs> he made me look brilliant. What's in there? Ian? Uh, Ewan. Ewan, sorry. Yeah. It's all coming out here, isn't it? Hey guys, so did you hang out a lot beforehand to get that kind of bond that you need to portray on screen? Yeah, because it's, we're talking lifelong friendships and no matter how good you are, that's something that you just can't fake. So we spent a lot of time before and getting to know each other and just 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 spending time together and we did it was lucky that we kind of we clicked straight away and the thing is it's, it's quite rare for you know for a group of five actors to sort of get on like we did you know what i mean because there's always that that sort of thing that does he look better than me Do you know what i mean it, it is true but it is you know what i mean and, and we actually got on like we'd known each other since we were four years old and it and it hopefully it comes hopefully across it in the shows, film man yeah, yeah. hopefully you know it shows I mean?